<laughs> this Stromban Miracle freaking great email is just what the doctor ordered, holy crap! Dear Strong THE Bad, Hey! How dare you mispronounce my middle name! Ah, uh, whatever. I just got back from Brownie Cone and was curious. What kind of cons do you get in Strombadia? Joke so old 2005 doesn't want it back. Logan. Well, Lou Gehrig's disease. Unfortunately, due to the very, 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 very small and unintelligent popular mass, Strombadia is incapable of any con having. However, there was one life changing road trip that will forever leave a smoldering mark on my heart. It all started with me, those two cool guys, those various other guys, and whatever Coach Z and Grong sat are, we're planning to take a trip to Peasant Squad! <laughs> the one and only convention based around my all-time favorite video game, Peasant's Quest! And the only convention that gives you your own trog sword when you register! Instead of one of them wimpy plastic badges. Although entry to Peasant Squad is no easy task. In fact, the only way to get there is to basically operate under sweet button cakes logic and wheel yourself into the convention. Peasant Squad! We made it! Now to see how many rather dashing cosplayers we can find in the next five minutes. Ooh, I never played this presence quesadilla video game, strong bad. But I never knew how pink and sparkly this Taco Bell was. That, my dear butt face, is the pink and sparkly smell of Berna. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, wait a minute! This isn't Peasant Squad! It barely even resembles peasantry! Where are all the helpless peasants? The lack of hygiene! The stink of Berna Nation! This looks more like one of those cheap kitty knockoff games that you'd find in stores that sell stuff that went out of style years ago. Like, Big Lots or something. But with admittedly way better graphics. Hey, guess what? It wasn't Peasant Squad. Turns out we took a few wrong turns and ended up at what looked like Foster's Home for Makeup Up Pals. But we were not dismayed from our Peasant Squad trip. Well, this sucks. Let's go home. Poison Squad! Can't do ye flask! Don't worry, Brohemoth. We'll get ye flask next year. No go, Stwobro. Turns out some creepnik named Homestar10 accidentally emptied the gas tank. Aw, oh, man! Stuck in who knows whereville with a bunch of losers and strong sad! I don't know whether to be insulted, complimented, or both. If I had my way, you'd be bleeding internally. Come on, guys. We're already here. Might as well make the best of it. Besides, it's either that, or sit in the car while Coach Z has bathroom-related emergencies. I forgot to pee at the inner store! Staring down the barrels of a pee-filled Coach Z, we were forced to make the best of it and intertwine with the indigenous locals. But soon enough, I came face to face with the only thing more terrifying than a freshly showered below Strongman's belt. Oof! Hey, watch where you're go- What? Purple, horsey, product placement. Dun dun dun. Oh great, another one. Good afternoon and welcome to Ponyville. I am Princess Twilight Sparkle. What's your name? Yep, just the reaction I'd expect from a non-pony. Unlike me, who is immune to becoming a sweaty man in a girly convention, the others were more accepting of these... <clears throat> ...Hasbrosian creations. <laughs> oh, hello, little boy, or little ghoul. My name is Hope Zawaddle. People say I'm a terrific athlete. Sure don't look like an athlete to me. You look more like a bowling pin with legs. Ooh, and you look like a high-class fashion designer who always dresses in style. Who are you calling high-class, Pinhead? I happen to be Rainbow Dash, the fastest Pegasus in all of Ponyville. I could fly supersonic circles around you before you can say- Ooh, 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 I know this one. Before I can say, seriously? Uh, yeah, sure. 
Anyway, I challenge you to a race around Equestria. Loser buys the winner a milkshake at Sugar Cube Corner. And if you win, I get to buy you a melonade. What's a melonade? You're going down, Skittlesman. On your sets, get marked, go! Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Celestia, you're so adorable! I just want to squeeze you with my biceps! Yeah! <laughs> Don't stare that shit! Oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whew! Twenty down, fifty more to go. No, no, no! You're going to all ring! You can't go around giving it the old two one. You gotta give it the old one two. A one one two. Uh, who or what the hell are you and what are y'all doing on my farm? I'm the coach that's gonna turn them old pancake legs into Borgian waffle legs. Uh, no thanks, sir. Bucky McGillicuddy and Kicks McGee are doing just fine. Nonsense. Pets Ticonderoga will be the judge of them dar legs. <laughs> Winter War Pub, Winter War Pub, everybody's sporn is here. I do wish I had an idea for a proper color scheme for this new fashion line. I'm due to present it in Manhattan next month. Whatever shall I do? I say, darling, that shade of orange looks simply ravishing on you. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you said, but I'm sure it was positively gallant. Oh, I do! Horizontal orange stripes! It's bold! It's daring! It's the perfect color scheme for my new fashion line! Thank you, kind sir. You have just saved my career! Fade the Parasprites! Save one of Equestria's most endangered species! Don't just sit there while your oppressive monarchy lets them all starve to death! Um, miss? I, um, I really don't think those Parasprites are endangered. Not anymore they aren't, because nothing will save them more than subjecting them to needlessly depressing animal shelter commercials, because that's what a good pet owner would do. Oh, my. <laughs> Looks like my work here is done. <laughs> <sighs> well, Crusaders, I hate to admit it, but I'm plum out of ideas. Yeah, we tried everything we could think of and still, no cutie marks. If only there was some super easy way we could get them, like buy them from a shop or something? Hear me, hear me! It's a relocation sale! Get y'all's a can of 100% not legal, not permanent tattoo my jobs! Excuse me, mister. Are y'all selling cutie marks? Oh, uh, yeah! Cutie marks! That's what I was always the whole time not a few seconds ago selling! I got cutie marks in snow cones, cutie marks in ketchup, cutie marks in ketchup, Cutie Marks and Brendan Fraser. I even got some Haiti Lamar Cutie Marks. Make me an offer. No questions asked. Who's Hedy Lamar? And what does the Snow Cone Cutie Mark do? I said no questions asked. I've told you a hundred times already. This is my castle, not yours. And I told you two hundred times there is a serious lack of butter and or whatcha in this here thar castle. Ooh! Unless you care to make a generous whatcha contribution to our dear Poopsmith over here. I still never got my sunflower seed! <laughs> <laughs> Sir Dumpwad. Not making it the peasant squad was bad enough. 
But now we're stuck in pink and sparkly Powerpuffville! How do you think I feel? I need some gloom, doom, and limezeeably in my life. Everything is so bright, colorful, and cheery, I think my cavities are being put in a sleeper hold. As much as putting you in a sleeper hold would cheer me up, I think I'll just start a revolution. So I see you've all met the strange new creatures too, huh? Yep. One of them just had the nerve to spank me. It was a friendly creepy prince. They're a bunch of crazy folk. I say we run them out of town. Oh, well, I don't know about that, darling. I think the orange and yellow one is quite charming. <laughs> is that him over there? Da 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 da. Wow, wow, wow. Calm yourself, Rarity. As Princess of Ponyville, I will be the one to ask them to leave. After all, there's no need for violence. All right, Princess Sparkly Bottom. I've just about had enough of your wussy little glue factory of toyetic hub world slash discovery kids horrors. So I, Strong Bad, of the mighty Strong Badian Empire, Lord of all things email and population dire, hereby declare war on Equestria. So what do you have to say about that? Oh. Um... What's up, my big... winged bros? Those are some... nice, pointy spears you got there, uh... <laughs> I, uh... I was just, uh... you know, doing the joke. The joke declaration. The cheat! Oh, man. Seriously, Dame Wash. I feel as fresh as a moldy biscuit straight out of the bread box. So who won? I kinda lost track of who was in the lead right around Las Pegasus. Uh, I never had any twacks. I kind of got distracted when that broom-shaped fox's mother with the tennis balls on her head started giving me the cutesy eye. So, we'll never know which one of us is the fastest? Nope. But in the end, it doesn't matter. For I am still a terrific athlete, and you are still the finest designer of gentlemen's clothing I ever seen. I am gonna like the way I look. Are you stupid or something? Ah! No way! Put me in, coach! I can take these biscuits! <laughs> All the broken bones and trampled hooves are literally and figuratively so great! Oh, screech! We're trapped! I think I'm gonna pee my puking pants! We better do something before Coach Z elaborates on both cases! Aha! Uh -huh. We've got you now, you heartbreakers! Normally, we ponies aren't the violent type, but in this case, we'll make an exception. If all of you do not leave Ponyville immediately and never come back... What the hell was that? Oh! <laughs> You ponies are in for it now! Look! Open the sky! It's an S! It's a different S! Consummate these! You're half right on all accounts! It is actually the burdenatingly epic cameo wrath of... Tonga! The legends were true. Every time Twagdor burdenates a village, Hey, Steve gets a little more kicked in the shins. Meanwhile... Hey, Steve! Ha! I got you this time, eh, hey, Steve? I'll see y'all's in syndication! Every pony run for your life! Everybody, 
Let's vamoose out of here while the Burdenator is busy Burdenatoring their village! Then we better be quick about it. The next panel starts in a few minutes. go, creature from the pasty Lugan, the climactic tale of how I didn't get to go to Peasant Squad. Although I didn't get my free Trog Sword, I did get to see an unsuspecting village get burninated, and we even got Big Brother Strongmad his own poisonal souvenir! I love you, Fluffy Butt! No, I love you more, Tony Stoney! As for me, I finally got that indentured housemaid I always all the time wanted. Keep going, Lady Harpwatham. I want to be able to see my shiny black where the sun don't shine in it. And? Oh, very well, my dear Harpwatham. Do a good job, and you can have strong sad's dumpy hands. I'm still using these. I've got tons more haiku and awkward scratches to perform. <laughs> I wake up every morning feeling awesome. Even though I slept on the remote again last night. Ow! Time to tear up another day. This strong bad freaking way. Like an imploding star, like a burning car. My style shines so bright. Please stop trying to handle my style. Cause you can't. No, you can't. Uh, handle my style. Seriously, quit trying to handle my style unless you're a lady. Then you're cordially invited to have a giant slice of my style! No! I'm the super speedy captain of the Pondball Train! Oh.